In this video, we're going to see how to create one purchase order from multiple sales orders, all in one go. This is best demonstrated by this graphic. On the left hand side we've got three separate sales orders, with a number of products on them. The red items are supplied by a red supplier, and the blue items are supplied by, you guessed it, a blue supplier. And when we go through what we call the batch purchase order process on the sales list, you'll end up with two purchase orders, one for the red supplier and one for the blue supplier. So here we're looking at a number of different sales orders from different customers, and what I've done is I've put them all on a status of pre-order. So we're collecting sales orders, and after a certain cut-off date, perhaps the end of a season, we'll create a purchase order for all of the different items. So we've got some flannel shirts in different sizes and colours, and then one order at the very bottom of the list that also contains a red bobble hat. What we need to do is select all of these sales orders, and then from more actions, choose batch purchase orders. The first option is only going to create a purchase order for out-of-stock items, less any quantity that's already on a purchase order. So if we've got 20 on the sales order, and we've got 10 in stock, less 5 on a purchase order, that means we only need to buy 5 more to fulfil these sales. The next option is where we only buy out-of-stock items, but we're going to ignore the quantity already on purchase orders. So again, 20 on sales order, less 10 on hand, which means we need to buy 10 to fulfil the sales. And then the third option is where we buy the same quantity on the sales order, completely ignoring existing stock levels and anything that's on purchase orders. We then click Create Purchase Orders, where we can see that two separate POs have been created. We've got one for the blue supplier, with all of the flannel shirts on, and then one for the red supplier, with the hat on. If any of these products had been connected to two suppliers, then two purchase orders would have been created for that particular item. You'd then have to go and decide which one you didn't want and delete it, because there's no concept of preferred supplier in BrightPearl. To make this process work, all you need to do is connect your products to the various suppliers, and there's a separate video that shows you how to do that. If you wanted to create purchase orders from low stock levels, rather than from sales, then watch the video on creating a purchase order from the low stock report. And that takes us to the end of the video, where we see how to create a purchase order from multiple sales.